welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your pick a card reading for advice for your love life. Okay, it's kind of timeless. It's when you need to hear it. And thank you for all your requests for me to do another pick a card reading. So I have finally got it together and set up the table. And here we are. This is for any star sign, sun, moon and rising. Okay. Now, people, do check out your June readings on the channel. There's a playlist and they are individual star signs. Your love and general messages for June. Okay, so have a look at those. But for now, without further ado, clear your mind, okay? I always think it's a good idea, just anyway, actually, never mind if you're doing a pick a card reading, to have a deep breath in, okay? So are you with me, people? Let's go. Wow, that felt good. Okay, now, take as long as you like and let your mind's eye or your heart's eye or just that whole whatever it is eye drift onto one, two or three, okay? When you've done that, go to the description box and the timestamp will be there and you can get your messages for your particular reading what you need to know about your love life for the moment okay so i'll see you on the other side namaste hey my lovelies let's get down to it you chose number one okay oh, oh my god Ooh. oh this is a juicy one as the actress said to the bishop okay I'm going to have to shift my crystal ball. Right. Advice for your love life and what's coming in for you as well, really. Goodness me. <laughs> There's going to be quite an emotional uh, watershed, I would say. Four of Pentacles in reverse. That is a card for me of either... The emotional percolator, you know, such as my feelings have been, and I'm guessing actually that you've been feeling kind of numb for a while, kind of emotionally numb. If you look at that card in the upright, it's someone playing their cards very close to their chest. It's either going to be a case of, you know, you know, when you first hear a leak and it kind of goes drip, 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 and then sometimes the whole lot just psh. It's about being vulnerable. You're going to be feeling or you're going to be able to be very vulnerable with a significant other in your life. If there is a significant other, whether it be a situation ship, whether it be a relationship, whether it be any other kind of ship. All right. And I say that because we do have a bit of a sea thing going on over there, which we'll talk about in a minute. Some of you, this is about three of swords, okay? There's been something, um, this is either to do with an ex, and if you're single and looking for love, maybe this is what is holding you back. If you are involved with somebody, which is kind of, or you're waiting for somebody, which is kind of the vibe that I'm getting, There will be an opportunity for a watershed. You will have to make yourself vulnerable for this to happen, okay? Also, it's not going to happen the way you dreamed it would. You know how sometimes you get a whole idea that things will be like this and it will be this romantic and they will say this and you replay the whole kind of movie of it in your mind. It is going to happen, but not the way you dreamed it and maybe not even the way you want it, okay? Nine of Cups in the reverse, the emotional wish card. Somebody and you. Now, this could be whether you're going to meet somebody or whether you're already involved with them. It's the issue of commitment. 
you're going to have to get vulnerable on what you want. And I know most people would say you're going to have to get, you know, you're going to have to know what you want, you know, and you're going to have to sock it to them and you're going to have to give them an ultimatum and you need to draw the line. I'm not going down that road because it doesn't feel like that. Your animal spirit card is gazelle. Now, gazelle is feminine energy and grace vulnerability being out there but grace is the optimum kind of feeling i get when it comes to gazelles you know they move like a gazelle it's a real you know sometimes and this is another message that i'm getting for you it takes a lot more courage to be vulnerable than it does to be spiky with somebody especially if you know there's a lot at risk and that's whether you're single and meeting somebody new or whether you're already involved with somebody or whether this is an ex it takes risk to have a watershed in front of somebody and to express your feelings to that person it takes risk to quietly say what your bottom line is and i don't mean again it's not an ultimatum a bottom line or a boundary is most powerful when it comes from within and in order for it to come from within it needs to come from a place of love and not a place of fear and this is very difficult because when we are in love or when we have strong feelings for somebody we often come from a place of fear or insecurity and that is old stuff, old swords wedged in the heart, okay? Old lessons, old triangulations, old experiences, possibly even experiences with this person where there has been some third party energy in the past. There's a lot of chemistry here, there's a lot of potential here, there is a lot worth waiting for which is your romance angel oracle card okay and passion yes now waiting is not the same as no, waiting's not the same as waiting is what i want to say this is to do with um taking whatever time you need to take and also getting in your vulnerable flow okay it's not about waiting as in how long has it been a week a month huh you know that whole i think you're going to be battling that kind of so keep getting it rising up that kind of energy of where are they what is it what do they want when are they going to say i will dismiss them if i don't get what i want i know my rules i know my boundaries no this is slipping into gazelle energy slipping into vulnerability asking yourself what do i feel okay do i feel this is worth waiting for regardless of what i'm experiencing do i feel it's the right thing to do what do i feel i need to make this all right there will come a time and it is not yet where you will be able to communicate this to this person but when you do, you want it to come from that authentic place like you're ringing a bell rather than sounding a horn, okay? Brian and Wendy Frood, you get the smith. And the smith is someone who hammers out an oath and keeps a promise, makes a promise and keeps it. I think the direction you may end up heading in, and we we've got eclipses in July, okay? The direction that you may end up heading in is a direction of needing something to be hammered out, needing to know something solidly and to know it's an oath and to hear it. Some of you, this is even just making that oath to yourself, okay, before anyone else can make it to you. Now you get the luck card of true love. There's a lot in this situation, okay? It is volatile, it feels like the sea, it feels like there are, there are waves, it feels like there are currents, it feels like there was another person involved in the past, whether that be their ex or they were a workaholic or whatever it was, there was something else involved in the past. Don't dwell on the past, 
don't look to the future, don't seek to communicate yet either. Get into your gazelle energy. Feel what you need to feel. Feel your own truth. When it's true for you, when it's really coming from a place of unconditional love, then it's a boundary. And when you express a boundary in that way, somebody really will hear you, okay? Oracle card to the sea. A certain sense of letting something have the freedom to float yourself for a start, your feelings, but also the whole situation and trusting that there is a current of love and vulnerability and that there are boundaries within the sea. You just can't quite see what they are. You don't need to um, draw a massive fat line with a marker pen. This is like the shore. You know, when you come to the shore and it's a wavy line, you don't really know where it is, but you kind of do. There's no arguing that the shore is there. It just doesn't follow a regular pattern, okay? You can't make this follow a regular pattern. It's not gonna cooperate with that kind of energy. Get into your gazelle, get vulnerable, go with the flow with it, okay? But that flow is also your flow of feelings, vulnerability and letting the emotional waters, okay? Having the watershed. You can't control the watershed. You just need to experience it. Once you do and you've kind of processed it, it will take you to a different place where you're ready to communicate, okay? Number one, check out your June readings, okay? Have a look. Um, I'll put it in the description box as well, the playlist. Have a look for your own star signs because there was quite a lot of karmic stuff going on in June. There was quite a lot that came up for love, so have a look at that too. But otherwise, leave me a comment, do subscribe to the channel, hit the wiggly bell and then you will get told when I'm doing more pick a card readings, which I will be soon. And also when I'm going live and my daily readings. Thank you very much. Number one, take it easy. Let me know what happens. Namaste. Hello, lovely number twos. Okay. What do we need to know? And I'm feeling compelled number two to say to you that you may have chosen more than just number two, which is fine. You can choose as many as you like and do all three. my god <laughs> number two i know when it's time to do a pick a card reading so i just feel absolutely compelled to do it your message is big number two there's no doubt about this a truth needs to come to light okay a truth needs to come to light This is most likely, not entirely, but most likely to do either with an ex or someone who you may be together with, but you've broken up maybe several times, maybe just once. Maybe for some of you, and I feel this, you're at the difficult stage of you may be meeting up for coffee, but it's not back on yet. You haven't talked about that yet, or you're still kind of texting somebody or they're still texting you. You kind of there is some communication between you, but it's not uh, yet been officially decided you will get back together, okay? Now, half the reason for that, some of you are sensing that there's something you need to know, okay? You have a feeling there is something you need to know. Your animal spirit card, these are Kim Kranz. You get unicorn, which is, look at that hologram hoop. I love this card. Unicorn, third eye chakra, a sense of knowing as well. It's a sense of spiritually leveling up. And sometimes, and I don't know why this happens, I can't really, I've never really fathomed it. When you're in a situation like this, where there are some shadow sides, and there are some shadow sides at work in this bit, number two, your light, you're, uh, this is probably for light workers and empaths, okay? 
your whatever you want to call that unicorn horn you know third eye chakra crown chakra i don't care it doesn't matter you know that whole tingly whatever it is you know and i never know what to call it but you know it when you've got it going on you've got it going on okay you've got it going on it's giving you lots of downloads but it's also giving you hunches that somebody who is back in touch or if you've just met them maybe but i don't really have i have to say i'm not getting that vibe i'm not getting the i've just met them vibe i'm getting the we've been together vibe uh is not telling you everything yet and you kind of need to know two of cups in reverse the breakup card there has been a breakup here there's been already a breakup venus in cancer in the upside down as they say in stranger things cup spill this is a soulmate connection this could be a karmic relationship especially if you are an empath if you are someone who channels messages maybe you're a tarot reader and getting for at least one of you okay you may be a you what do they call it a, a, a you tarot burr or something you know like i am a youtube tarot reader there's one of you out there for sure or you're you know you're in some kind of divine channeling capacity healing it doesn't matter you know who you are because you are who you are and that's how you know okay that i'm talking to you i hope this makes sense if you're an empath and if you're spiritual this is going to make sense if you're deeply rational you will have turned off by now speaker of truth look at that solar plexus sternum thing okay this is a card that comes up when someone needs to speak their truth okay and it isn't you it isn't you you're right that's big message for you number two yes you're right there's something you need to know okay and someone is hiding it from you chuck spezzano love card we get the problem card of defensiveness now why do people defend because they got something to hide okay there is something to hide they're hiding something <clears throat> now i'm not getting from these cards that they are trying to deceive you okay that is a different thing hiding something and openly setting out to deceive somebody are two different things they're hiding something because they don't want to hurt you especially if they feel there's a chance of getting back together with you okay and it's your job as an empath to navigate this rather rocky terrain okay because look i get deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship you both are to a certain extent you are if you kid yourself that you're not getting downloads that there's something you need to know or there's something they're not telling you and we all do that as empaths because we're only human and it's difficult to live with constant hunches when you really love somebody or you really want everything to be okay all right the truth in this situation though could set you both free you have getting to know each other and i would like to put in brackets after that again okay getting to know each other again as you reveal your innermost selves and i would say secrets to each other your bond will deepen okay if you continue to hide or if they continue if you continue to allow them to hide and in a sense you're hiding if you're letting them hide this isn't this is gonna it's well we've got the eight of cups here okay saturn in pisces walking away continuing to hide continuing to live in any kind of self-deception or allowing them to peddle deception to you even though i think their motives are good for doing it will not bring out the best in this connection whatever the best may be and we have the star you may be dealing with an aquarius you may be an aquarius okay lots of you are and i love you aquarius thank you for being my highest viewer on the channel 
consistently by a country mile. Anyway, Aquarius, also the card of hope. If you're not an Aquarius, this is about, well, even if you are, Aquarius is about hope. Star is about hope, okay? It's also manifesting if you are an empath or a conscious creator. But as you know, if you are, you've got to be in a clean channel. You know, you've got to be um, true to yourself first. And they need to be true to you. So then we have the Ace of Wands. Maybe a very sexual connection with this person as well. Or this subject about what they're not telling you is about something to do with sex. They may have had a night with their ex when you were on a break. You know, like that episode in Friends where Roz and Rachel are on a break and he gets off with the girl from the shop and then he's like dying inside. They get back together. He really loves Rachel. She's the one. But the whole thing is deception. It feels like that. OK, somehow everybody needs to drop their defences. Now, most likely, if this doesn't happen through you making it happen, and as empaths, we're not keen on making things happen in the 3D, you can channel for truth with your inner unicorn. You can ask Archangel Michael or whoever is your spiritual helper. Ask for the truth to come out, okay? And then see how that goes. Otherwise, we have uh, eclipses in July. <laughs> I tend to find that particularly on full moon eclipses, which I think is the, I think it's the second one. I'm not sure actually, but anyway, eclipses in July may just blow it out of the water anyway, which can only be a good thing because you can't go on with this level of deception or this level of denial. Okay. Oracle card is Treasure Island. Hearts, confetti, treasure and gorgeousness. But it's a turtle and a turtle is slow and steady wins the race and gentle and beautiful and graceful and empathic. OK, you don't need to go stomping around trying to beg for the truth, ask for the truth, dig for the truth. No, no, no. OK, channel the truth. It's the thing that you're good at anyway. Number two is what you do best. OK, check out your June readings. Do subscribe to the channel. Hit the wiggly bell because I will be doing more pick a card readings soon <clears throat> if my voice allows it and going live as well. And you'll get alerted about that. OK, and I will see you soon. Number two, leave me a comment. OK, please. Namaste. Hello, lovely number three. Ooh. Let's have a look. God, there's been some really interesting readings. I kind of feel, and I said this to number two, I feel like you may have been tempted by number one or number two as well. Don't worry about that, because I almost feel like this message is divided into three parts. Okay. Some of you may have a secret admirer if you're single. That's just for those of you that are, well, you don't have to be single to have a secret admirer. That's another message I just got. Okay, some of you may have a secret admirer. Some of you are trying to get over somebody as well. Here we've got the three of cups down and the two of cups remaining. Five of Cups, it can be five months ago. It could go back to the um, lunar eclipse in Leo that we had in January the 21st. For some of you, it does. It goes back to that time. And also back to 2018, where we had those eclipses in Leo and Aquarius. Five of Pentacles, the walk in the snow. Some of you either were left by somebody or you chose to leave them. Oh, 
for some of you they may have been going through a divorce and it was messy or you wanted to move in together with them and they couldn't do that because of the situation they were in for some of you this person loved you a lot and yet they chose to walk away from you which must have been extremely puzzling the five of pentacles there is always an element of someone voluntarily walking away because the beggar and the woman choose not to go into that church they could go into that church but they feel that they can't someone who you've been in separation from has been on a spiritual awakening or a spiritual journey especially if they left you because you couldn't move in together or you couldn't build something together in a pentacle style both of you were very sad about this okay it just didn't seem to work out this relationship between you this is someone who initially at least you may not have heard from for quite a while could be five months actually because I got the five of cups and the five of pentacles or this could have happened in May that's the fifth month oracle card no place like home again wanting to set up home but also for some of you spiritually this person felt like home no place like home you feel like home okay this person felt like your home it's really important it's making me feel teary okay five of cups okay for some of you you have reached out to this person or they've reached out to you with an initial something i've got the page of cups page of cups is the most junior of the love offerings okay he's got his fish in his cup and it's like a kind of teenage fumble of an offering you know you want to come forward this person regrets it and has wanted to come forward and may have texted or opened the account in some way okay but i've got the knight of cups in reverse they haven't yet followed through This is an interesting one, people. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You and this person, Five of Pentacles, the Spiritual Awakening card, somehow bring out each other's wounds that need to be healed, both of you you triggered in this person a lot of stuff about their past their family their childhood um their sadnesses which i think maybe scared them actually they went off on their own they've done some grieving somebody may have passed in their family okay because that is the funeral card as well or they've just grieved a lost childhood some of them this is quite deep okay you may have been triggered to do the same and in separation both of you have changed forgiving and learning about yourself but also about the other person this person loves you okay but they may not yet be fully ready to kind of charge in on the white charger i mean the knight of cups is the charger you know it's the speech it's the uh proposal it's the you know sweeping you up off your feet and again look we get horse and now these cards are new and i have never drawn horse and i want to know see i love horses 
but I'm also frightened of them. Yeah, look, the horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy in the deck, providing us with momentum. That is momentum. Okay, this is in early momentum. There is an awakening of love. There's been a perception of their own wounds. You threw them into having to look at themselves in a way that maybe they hadn't done before, release their toxicity, and actually grieve what they needed to grieve. It provides us with momentum so reliable, so supportive, you can ride on its back towards any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy. Physical stamina, exercise, mental focus are the secret weapons. This is an awakening. This person has been triggered into an awakening by what happened between you, okay? Then they retreated. You are in separation from this person at the moment and that's okay because you're not really. You may, with the no place like home, when someone feels like home, you're telepathically connected. You can almost feel each other's energy, okay? Prick up your ears. This is hearing in ways that aren't listening. In other words, don't doubt your dreams and your messages and your feelings about this, okay? But you will also get messages about forgiving and learning for yourself. And in the same way, they've been triggered into deep messages about their own, okay? You get the luck card of romance. This would need to be a gentle beginning with this person. And I think there will be, but not quite yet. Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. When this person comes back in, they want to have it right. They want the armour to look good, the horse to be beautiful, the cup to be full of something you like to drink. They know that they made a mistake last time. They know they let you down, okay? They don't want to come with just a fish in a cup. But these stirrings of wanting it are there. You don't need to act on this. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All you need to do is go inward and keep healing, okay? Because somehow that is a catalyst for this person getting it together to come forward in, in a full, reliable momentum, okay? I would imagine that would be in full swing by mid-July when we have the eclipses, okay? But for now, your job is know yourself, heal yourself, love yourself, and absolutely forgive yourself, okay? Whoa, number three. Oh, do subscribe to the channel if you want to get my, I'm gonna do some more pick a card readings and more live readings. Check out your June um, reading as well for your individual star sign, your love reading for June. And leave me a comment, okay, because I'm really intrigued, number three. See you soon. Namaste.